Rainbow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose, yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you a DIY farmhouse heart slide plaque. This really is for the theme of Valentine's Day, but I'm not going with those traditional colors. I'm going with the rustic farmhouse theme, the decor colors that are gonna suit my decor style. This is a series that I've been bringing to you over this last year, and it is those plaques that you can slide in and out of the stand that I DIY'd with you. I'll link that video in the description box below for those of you who are new to my channel. This is a fun series, and today, because Valentine's Day is next, I thought it was suiting to make a heart slide plaque. So I'm gonna quit my gabbin, let's jump into it, and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Farmhouse DIYing on a budget. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Because this is a Valentine's Day DIY, I'm gonna be using one of these here wood DIY plaques. I'm gonna start off by giving this a healthy coating of some Mod Podge. Gloss, matte, doesn't matter. But when I do say healthy, I mean healthy. You don't wanna put a light coat. You're gonna to wanna to go a bit thicker because I'm gonna be adhering some burlap to this. Now, if you wanna add fabric, again, you're gonna to wanna to have a thicker coat of Mod Podge. If you're gonna do paper, you're gonna want a thinner coat. But because I'm using burlap, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this stuff on and really coat it onto this plaque. Once I've got that first coat on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my burlap. Now this burlap that you're seeing here is a good quality burlap and it came out of a burlap roll that I got at Walmart in the wedding section. It's actually a runner. It was $5 for the roll and because it's such a good quality burlap, that's what I like to pick up to use when I add burlap to my DIYs. Once I've got the burlap applied to the plaque, I am going to apply a second coat of Mod Podge over the top of the burlap because burlap is dry and it's somewhat of a fabric maybe. Somebody's gonna say that I shouldn't have called it fabric, but whatever it is, it is. It really absorbs the Mod Podge. And so you can see that you're gonna need a good amount and you are going to want to put a healthy amount on because it's going to stiffen that burlap and that's gonna help so when you cut the excess burlap off of the edges, it's not going to fray. Quick tip. When you're cutting off that extra burlap or fabric in some cases, you're gonna wanna use a razor and you're gonna wanna make sure you got a nice fresh one because the fresher and sharper, the easier it's gonna cut through and just use the plaque itself as a guide when cutting off that extra burlap or fabric. This ribbon lace is amazing. You're getting 1.3 yards of this lace for $1.25 now. Nonetheless, it is still a great buy and I'm gonna utilize it in this DIY, but I don't want white. So I brewed myself a nice strong cup of coffee and I'm gonna submerge my lace in this coffee and it in turn is going to give it that nice antique aged color. I'm gonna let it set for just about an hour or two while I'm cleaning house or doing something. It's been a couple of hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the copy. and would you look at this color. I'm loving it. I'm not gonna wring it out though. I'm just gonna set it aside and let it dry. Oh my word. I'm really excited about this because I am loving the look of this ribbon. It's got some uneven color, which really adds to, I wanna say that rustic antique feel that I'm going for. So just taking a bead of hot glue along the edge of the plaque there on top of that burlap, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the ribbon right along the outer edge. Dollar Tree's also got these DIY craft kits for Valentine's Day, much like the ones we saw at Christmas time. 
I'm gonna be using this XOXO along with some of my favorite Waverly's Antique Wax. I feel like it's been a while since I've used some of my antique wax in a DIY. Today, this XO is gonna get a nice light coat of this, not gonna go too heavy because I don't wanna lose that wood grain look that comes through the antique wax. Of course I am. You didn't think that I wasn't gonna add some stitching to this XOXO, right? The stitching looks so amazing when it's added to a piece like this that has that antique wax on it. I just love it. I feel like it really just finishes it off and it really makes the lettering or the wording stand out just a bit more. Perfect finishing touch, I'd say. This XOXO is going to go right in the center of my burlap and lace heart. I love it. Now, I did see with these craft kits for Valentine's Day, they had a love and they had a kiss. I've always signed my cards with XOXO, and so, of course, XOXO was just calling my name. Once I got this XOXO, can I say that again, onto the heart, I just felt like it was what? Yes, a bit too clean. So, of course, I'm gonna go in with some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of Walnut Stain. Using a stiffer paintbrush, that's how I like to apply my Distress Ink. Just by running it onto the ink pad itself, you can very easily apply the ink and distress whatever DIY it is that you wanna distress. And I do say using a stiffer paintbrush because it helps apply it a bit easier than a softer paintbrush. You're gonna find that you really don't get the distressing or the pigmented color that you'd get when using a stiffer brush. To get a stiffer brush, just cut the bristles down on one of your least favorite brushes and it gets stiffer closer to the base where I guess the, the bristles are in that metal piece. Oh my word, I'm really just going off on a tangent there. You get the idea. Just cut down the bristles and you'll have a stiffer brush. I wanted to add just a pop of color to this DIY and to do that, I figured just by adding a red twine bow, it would make that bow stand out, give this just a touch of color, and of course, I was able to incorporate my favorite twine into this DIY. I am loving the look of this. Let's take a look at it in the slide plaque itself. Who is today's KB Creations crafters of the day. First one's going out to Jen, who's bringing to us her DIY pumpkin slide plaque for the fall and harvest season. Loving your choice of fabric, Jen. Thank you for showing us your creation. Kathy is bringing to us her fall and harvest DIY slide plaque. Amazing. I am loving the twists and the touch that you all are putting on your DIYs. Lastly, Kathy brought to us her trick or treat Halloween candy corn themed pumpkin slide plaque. I am loving it. Thank you all so much for sharing your creations with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Quick, easy, and budget friendly, that's the name of this DIY. Now remember, this is a very versatile piece. So if the colors and the burlap that I use don't suit your decor style, you can very easily switch it up by maybe adding some scrapbooking paper or adding some fabric that suits your decor. If you want some brighter colors, I say go for it. But you know me, I stay true to my nature and burlap and twine are just everything to me and so I'm embracing it. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY farmhouse heart slide plaque in honor of Valentine's Day. Please make sure to give this video mm -hmm, a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please, because I am, and 
Bye for now, everybody. Bye.